Thanks for tuning in to your day off podcast, hosted by your boys, Corey and Tony. I think by the end of today, I might have another best friend. They're committed to making you fall in love with the hair industry, one podcast at a time. Uh, you're going to grab a lot of information. Yeah, you're going to learn a lot. Presented by Hair Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Your day off podcast will begin after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to uh, vision, vision, event, vision to venue. Hey, today we're going to talk. Um, we're going to double down on relationships, 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 and we're going to kind of walk you through, um, you know, how we, uh, how we, I don't know, treat or or how we uh, increase the experience for, for the artist and why we think it's important and why um, I think there's a lot of benefit out of um, out of you know just really taking care of of, of the artist. Yeah, for sure. I think that the artists are a what huge. Is that? I'm Corey Gray. And I'm Katie May. There we go. I, I think it's official now. <laughs> it's okay. Now. Yeah. It's okay. No, okay. It's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. Yep. <laughs> we'll, we'll remember. <laughs> we'll re Listen, next time we'll remember. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I do think that the artist is a huge part of what you're doing. Artist, educator, um, the people that you bring in who help you uh, create this experience. Um, so it's really important to make them feel you know, yeah, like a huge part of, of it. Kind of our philosophy is, and you know, whenever we do an event, you know, I, I think I mentioned this on an earlier episode, but our our goal is always to, or our, our, our funnel is always, you know, the the attendees' experience, and we are confident that if we take really good care of the artist and and we show up for them, that they'll show up for for the attendees of the weekend. First and foremost, backtrack a little bit, but like. Make sure that the artists, certainly if you have control over who the artists are that, that you're bringing in, make sure that they're wired that way. Make sure that they're wired attendee first. Um, you know, that, that's that, that's very, very helpful. And it keeps a lot of like ugliness out of the way um, if they, if that's just who they are. And you can tell, you know, how how do they interact with with their audience, um, either, you know, online um, is, all, you know, that's all public stuff. So you know, if there's anything that that if there's anything that looks even a little bit sketchy online, um, you can, you know, guarantee that it's a hundred times magnified, <laughs> you know, when, when they're offline and when it's real people interaction. Yeah. However, hopefully you vet it. Hopefully you've done your work there. Um, certainly again, if you have control over who's coming in or who's not coming in, but, um, but, but, but with that, uh, you know, you just want to align yourself with, with those kind of people. And, um, you know, normally when artists are at like a bigger event or a bigger show, they are uh, worn out by the end of the weekend. If you spent any time. Yeah, don't them. judge them by that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Don't. It, it, it's a lot of work. You know, it's very early call times. You know, it's 18 models per day. Um, it's 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 uh, uh, corporate dinners. It's 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 all the things. It's a lot of work. Um, and you know, they, they are there and they put a lot of energy into being there. Um, if you see, you know, one of these uh, top tier artists at the end of a weekend, you know, just, just give them the grace. Yeah, for that's, sure. That, that's that, that, that's the, that, that just give them the grace, I guess is the question. So what we decided to do was we were going to flip that completely on its head. Um, uh, and you know, again, thinking of the attendees, how can we do that? Well, we if we took better care of the artist, um, then they uh, would be positioned to uh, take better care of the attendees. What do we mean by that? A, it means that, you know, very, very few times when we do our events, they have more than one model to do in a day. And again, if you're talking to an artist that's, that's you know, used to doing 18 in a day, you know, one a day is is pretty, one or two a day is pretty comfortable for them. Um, and, and they don't feel overworked. Um, we also, you know, we feed them, we take care of them. We, we pretty much. Well, but also think about your event and what your event is and what you're doing. If you are, if it's a day or a couple days, you know, if they're independent artists and they're coming on their own, or if a sponsor is bringing them in, you're having a sponsor, you know, have them pay to come and represent the brand for what you're doing. Those are two pretty distinct ways that you can bring them in. And I think that you have to be mindful of whichever way you do it. So if they're an independent artist, you know, usually they have kind of their own curriculum or mm -hmm. their own thing that they're trying to push. So you want to support that. And if they're bringing in from the brand, you know, the brand's going to pay to have them come in. Same thing. Like, how are you supporting the artist within the brand as well? So that's just a big kind of overload. You know what I mean? Like, just kind of looking at that as a 
overall too and i would also argue too even if they're coming in with the brand like at some point you want to step up and take care of the artist too you know it, it's not oh, just yeah all about, always yeah not, yeah it's not just uh, all about the brands and but the it's being stuff. mindful right that's like that's if the keyword if you're bringing in you know whatever an olaplex artist you know they're using the product in the class that they're teaching. I mean, that's something simple as taking care of the brand, but you're focusing on the artists and what do they need to support their class? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. You're hundred percent correct yeah. there. You know, um, so, you know, with that, you know, th there's a lot of things to consider. Um, a, like uh, if you're bringing in an independent, like, uh, you know, transportation, how are you getting them from the airport to your space? Um, if you're responsible for putting them up in a hotel or, or whatever, you know, where are you, where are you putting them up at? You know, is it a comfortable space for them? Um, is it at a hotel? Is it an Airbnb? You know, wh whatever that is. Um, and certainly if you're local to the space, um, we always visit the Airbnbs that, that, that we're going to, that we are going to, um, you know, rent out for the artist or that, that we recommend renting out to the artist only because, you that's know, that's our vibe. That's our vibe. You know, and, and Airbnbs, you know, they can be like, they can be sketchy or they can be great. Um, and certainly, um, it, it, since we do a lot of the stuff in our own community. Um, People are a lot more open to it than you think, too. Like you think, I'm not going to message someone through Airbnb to, so I can go do a tour. But you don't get what you don't ask for. If you just send them a message half the time, I mean, most of the time, right? I don't, I don't think we've had anyone. Certainly in our town, we haven't had anyone. It's hard to schedule, but I think that's like, that's been kind of the only struggle we've mm -hmm. seen with that. But um, yeah. And, and, and what the hard to struggle is like, oh, sorry, it's occupied that day. Right. You know, it's never like, it's never resistant. Yeah, 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 for sure. No, really? but then the other thing that's cool with these artists that will help you with your event is thinking about from a marketing perspective. They all have their own communities. So the very cool thing that is very organic and authentic and easy is when they talk about your event to their communities, whether that's emailing or through social or events that they do, you know, just mentioning it or, um, you know, sending out a flyer or whatever it is, you know, you then have access to both the artists and maybe the sponsors communities through doing that or through working with these certain artists you know what i i think to um to backtrack a little bit just before that and you know back to like the relationships 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 mm -hmm. bit is that um it, it's important to get buy-in from the artist too like if they buy in How do you they, mean? in the sense that like it, it's our event right it's it's, mm -hmm. it's 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 the event that we're putting on and you know it's their event as well you know, so Let's have some ownership, some give, give some ownership, not give ownership, but just, you know, when it comes back down to authentic relationships, yeah, that's very helpful. That's very helpful if they feel like they're buying into this event like that. for themselves or for, or for whatever. Um, and that, and you know, like, um, you know, we do Presley Poe and friends each year, but you know, we also try to get buy-in from, from all the friends, mm -hmm. you know, um, and unintentionally i think that yeah. you know it was the friends thing but but from all the friends we we try to um we try to get buy in from them and and you know try to honestly it's kind of the hardest conversation we have with artists is is getting them to understand you know what this is and 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 how important the buy in is you know not important the buy in is but 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 we just try to get that buy in so they feel like they certainly feel like it's it's their event at the end of the weekend mm -hmm. but for us the challenge is getting them to buy in you know six months before right. uh, before that but before um, everything kicks yeah, off everybody it's so funny everybody leaves the event but i don't know what is you know so leading up to it right it is kind of hard for us to describe we're trying to still figure out how to um you know the experience and explain it but then after they leave they totally get it and then they're telling their quote friends, right? you know, about it. So it's still kind of helping to spread the message, but it's just after the fact. So I don't know if it's successful or not, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either, you know, but, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a really great problem to have, you know? And I think that it is a testament to um, us taking care of them and how we make them feel throughout the whole thing. And at the end of it, they, you know, have made their own set of money they've contributed to something great that's elevating the industry and they've gotten to maybe even push their own curriculum or their own thing out there i mean um i think that is why we do have people afterwards still talking about it 
as far as the educator's perspective. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, nothing, nothing in the world, you know, fills my cup up knowing that we filled up these artists cup who, who, who are on the road all the time, all the time, yeah. you know, like, like the, one of the best compliments we ever got, if I can call this person out real quick, but, Do it. you know, <laughs> Rebecca Taylor, um, who's done, you know, thousands of events probably in her career and just how much different and how impactful our event was for her. You know, and that once again, she was, quote unquote, a hired hand, you know, to come in and do it. But, yeah. but, but how it really, really impacted her um, was, was honestly one of the biggest compliments that that we could have received. Because, mm-hmm. again, this is that she, Rebecca is and has been a road dog. So she oh, yeah. it all. Well, she thought she saw it all. And then she did our event. <laughs> and she goes, oh, okay, yeah. now I've seen it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and we even got a very similar um, um, compliment from Sam Via again, someone who's, you know, done thousands of shows and just like, you know, just kind of like nodded his head and was like, yeah, yeah you guys are onto something here. You That's know, awesome. Which, which is, which is awesome. I know it's very humbling, isn't it? But anyways, but again, that attributes uh, all back to like, you know, we go out of our way to take care of the artist. Mm-hmm. You know, we feed them, we're conscientious about like their their uh, every everybody has food um, um, issues now, so you know it, 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 being aware of of what those what those food concerns are and being able to create a um to create a space um you know for them and uh and I don't know why I just did did that but so having you know just just knowing the food and just being aware of it you know and, mm-hmm. and being able to 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 be mindful of that I guess is what I'm trying to say um and then the small things that are impactful uh, and but thoughtful yeah for sure and Katie's uh, wonderful cuz um a lot of our artists or most of our artists or all of our artists they they all get like a welcome basket and just kind of a welcome um to to our event um and uh Katie spends a lot of time like making it personal to them. Once again, I think if we really take care of the artist in a way that is unexpected for them, they'll then show up for our attendees. Which, and they'll want to come back. And they'll want to come back. Which you want when you're putting on an event. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you, you know, and, and it's very cool when, you know, people leave, artists leave and um, they go, you know, how can I do this next year? Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, we, 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 we try to involve as many artists as we possibly can. So I don't know, maybe sometime in the future. And if Presley hears this, she'll definitely want to do it. We'll have like a, 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 a greatest hits, you know, yeah, a, a team come in or something like that. But you know, that, that could be down the road and that could be fun. Maybe it's, maybe it's not, Maybe it's not that weekend. Maybe it's another weekend. Like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. So um, anyways, I, I mean, I, I think it's just being conscientious about everything and how you can how you can create an experience for the artist, because I I think that at the end of the day, they don't always get an experience because I think when they do like a brand event for the most part i'm generally speaking but when they do a brand event certainly like a big hair show like they are the hired help you know and and we try not to although they are the hired help we try not to um treat them as such we try to treat them as 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 the artists that they are yeah and that's it that's it that's it just be aware 100 percent, and thoughtful and thought be thoughtful goes a long way aware. absolutely all right so uh you know for your next event thank you guys and uh hopefully uh you kill it in your next event and that this is you know vision to venue and invite us yeah invite we'll come oh, support God, so awesome wouldn't yeah it? or give us a call and you know katie will hire, give you like a consulting fee <laughs> maybe <laughs> Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, share it with friends, give us a rating and drop a review to listen to all the latest podcasts. Please subscribe from your favorite podcast outlet and to stay connected on and off the show. You can follow us at hair Street on Instagram and all other social media platforms. Thanks again. And we'll see you next time. Peace and love.